Harry McClary's Bone by Linley Dodd, read to you by David Orchard, in the hope that you will read along with me. Down in the town, by the butcher's shop door, sat Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. Out of the door came Samuel Stone. He gave Harry McClary his tastiest bone. Then off up the street, on scurrying feet, on his way to the dairy, went Harry McClary. And chasing him home, with their eyes on the bone, went Hercules Morse, Bottomley Potts, Muffin Maclay, Bits of Maloney, and Schnitzel von Crumb, with the very low tum. Hungrily sniffing and licking their chops, they followed him up past the school and the shops. They came to the sign selling Sutherland's sauce. Through they all went, except Hercules Morse. They came to a hedge along Waterloo Way. Under they went, except Muffin Maclay. They came to a yard full of dinghies and yachts. Round they all went, except Bottomley Pots. They came to a building site, cluttered and stony. Over they went, except Bitsa Maloney. They came to a wall by the house of Miss Plum. One of them jumped, but not Schnitzel von Crumb. So, at last he was free to go home on his own, Harry McClary, with all of his bone. And if you'd like to catch any more Harry McClary stories, have a look on my playlist. There's plenty there for you to see.